Mm-hmm. Also, a lot of people don't know, and, and I, I was talking to Renee mm-hmm. about this, that you always looked at as the villain. I don't understand the, the how bad guy. Because you're the guy. bad guy. You claimed that years ago. But, New York's number one bad <laughs> guy. You help a I lot said that of people one time out. They gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you help a lot of people out. You lend a lot of people money. You support a lot of people. Nobody wants to borrow money from Fifty. At this no, point. no, Fifty. No, nah, they do not. Gonna make them hot on the ground. No, he lent, <laughs> like you lent out a lot of money to regular people, to artists, to athletes, to DJs, to. Is it lending people. or giving? Well, it's lending if it's. Like with with business stuff around it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Then you expect returns on whatever you're putting in. But like a lot of times, if they, my instincts are to do it. Like I think, to be honest with you, I view money as freedom. Mm-hmm. It's the freedom to invest in myself or whatever my idea is at the time, and they'll come. We'll have a conversation, and, and it just feels like something to do. Mm-hmm. If a, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you'll see, even when we talk about like like television or different things, I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, we we need to do this. Because it's just, I see the qualities that people have that I don't have. At points, it stands out to me. I watch mm-hmm. them. And then I'm like, yo, I want to work with that. This Because it's different. It's, it's what I don't have at points. You know what I'm saying? Other people, they, they look at it and if, if they see, if they haven't felt it enough for themselves, they can't help other people be where they need to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they like, it's like a selfish nature of people if they haven't felt that conf- had confirmation or felt those feelings for themselves you know and uh, I'm plus I think it's the that. cancer in you too though yeah like it, it's just it's a, it's another win it's mm-hmm. a win that we couldn't make through what I have mm-hmm. and maybe be the other person has it and I'm mm-hmm. like yo it's different th- like when your book come out I'm I got the book looking at it reading on thank my, you I appreciate you that you know what I'm saying because yeah. I'm like why would I if, if you don't have a book on sale at the same time why would you not like to see his book be successful right I don't understand. Like, if you, I understand the competitive nature of people when they're competing for mm-hmm. something. It's like when you see me say no puffy juice. Mm-hmm. It's when I'm selling effing vodka. Mm-hmm. Immediately after I'm not selling effing vodka, I don't know what Puffy's doing today. Mm-hmm. I was watching his ass while we was doing it because I'm a direct competitor to him yeah. at that point. You know, and then it's just just the way I do things. If you don't have people to compete with, you have to create that. What makes you wake that, up? <laughs> What made you wake up and say, you know what? I start, I need my money back from these guys I let money from. But you know what happens? That People do this thing. There's no sympathy for winners. Mm-hmm. Everybody in this room is a winner. So, you know what I mean? When you have success, you can't have it without jealousy, without mm-hmm. envy or entitlement. Entitlement being the scariest part because it's growing in someone you love dearly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that that is what what makes people look at you and go, Oh, he got it, so it's cool. Like you should excuse it. Like when they when they say they're awarding you something in the mm. courts, it's usually something that you already paid, so they're just returning it, mm. awarding you legal fees. Mm. You know what I mean? So like with T- with Tierra Marie and stuff like that. Like when the girl's trying to, she trying to get the bag. She said it on tape. I'm mm. trying to get the bag. And then you go, when it doesn't work out, and they tell you to pay the thirty thousand people on the outskirts can identify with not having $30,000 to give and they go, oh, you got it, Fifth, so just let her, you know. Let her live. Her live. Yeah. And you go, let her live, what you talking about? That's the $30,000 that I spent in the process already on legal fees. Mm-hmm. Did you she, get it yet? Yeah, did she pay anything back? No, she she got a payment plan. Oh, that's How much? Right. Okay, look, I don't care if you feel like you went to college. I don't care if you feel like you went to college. You didn't attend any classes, but you got bills to pay. It's cool. It's fine with me. Just when you make a mistake, you have to identify with the mistake. We tried to call you up here one yeah, day when she did. was up here. I know. I, I'm glad I missed that part. Uh, <laughs> no, do you ever I, feel bad? Like, did you feel you feel a little bad sometimes? Like, man, okay, she's going through a lot. No, I didn't know. You know, 